Good day everybody, welcome once again. From our last video, we were able to set up our Metas developers account and we were able to send our first WhatsApp boot message. So if you are actually watching this video, I'll drop the link to the first video so that you can actually see how we set up our Metas developers account and we are able to achieve by sending our first WhatsApp boot message. So let's try this again so that you we make sure that everything is working perfectly. So as you can see, we are still getting our hello world and and welcome to and congratulations so we want to be able to not just send the hello world we want to send our own customized message so the next thing that we want to do is let's head over to replit i already have a code snippet i'll just walk you through it and then you understand what we are doing so the first thing we are going to do is we need some libraries that will actually facilitate us in gaining and in making some requests and actually structuring our code so the first thing we did we import os and then just one and then request so request actually allows us to actually make requests to the internet and then pull the data and then we, we use os to, for interaction and then use for interaction of um, the environment that we're working with and then we now use this one for our structuring we can see we use this one in this function so the next thing that we did was actually assessing some vital um, 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 tokens that we need to actually make um, request to the api whatsapp api that we're working with so the remember this is the access token which i pointed out that it expires after every 24 hours and then the recipient id this recipient id is just the phone number that you are sending the message to i getting it it could be maybe for you it could be for your brother or your sister it could be for your fiance your girlfriend or even your mom and then the phone number id the phone number id you can find it here this is the phone number id and you can find it under the the number that uh, whatsapp provides for us as the number that we are going to be using and sending the message and then the next thing that we are looking at is the version the version is just maybe if you are watching this video earlier and um, later than this day you can actually check the version of the whatsapp version that is available and then you can easily change it to this and then we use the whatsapp version so the first function that we build is the function that actually gets the message and then facilitates in sending it so it just gets the information for us and then everything that we need and then to where it's sending it to and then the test message and then the next one is what we use in sending the message so this is our header and this is the url that we are hitting and then this is the response where we are now making the request a post request so we now build a an error catcher this error catcher will actually facilitate you in actually checking if um if you are getting a 200 if you are getting a 200 then go ahead and send the message and then print out everything that the status code and then everything so if you are not getting a 200 i want you to print the status code and then print the test and then tell me the error message that is the test the test and then we are now going to get the response back so this is where we are now calling the function we're now calling the function with everything that you needed the recipient id and then the test message that we need for that we are actually sending this test message could be variety of anything maybe a motivational um, world that you want to be getting every morning or a, a, a lovely test message you can be sending to your girlfriend or your fiance appreciating them for what they are doing in your life and then this is where we are now calling the function to actually now send the message and everything so now the next thing we are going to do is for us to actually test it but let me tell you something that you need to know before now so um the for you to actually be able to receive the message just send any message at all it could be anything just send it so that it will just take double check and showing that yeah, the boots have actually received your message so if you don't do this the you, the code will run but you're not going to get anything in return so you just have to actually just send the message to it so that everything will be fine so now let's now run this and make sure that everything is working perfectly so we are running so let's check our message we are able to get it hello this is a test from whatsapp boot. so as you can see we are able to build our our whatsapp boot. so we are not getting our own customized message i'm going to drink the link to this code below so in case you need to reference it or you need to use it to build your own snippet and work with it 
so you can easily maybe build um what's it called build a, a joke that will be sending joke every day or can build um, build something that will be sending a motivational words every day or build a lovely text message to your girlfriend every morning the, the boot to just send her a message and then remind her how wonderful you are and then how wonderful that they are, you appreciate them being in your life and everything or you can easily maybe send it to your maybe sending words to your mom or your dad every morning and then and you just allow you to automate your whatsapp message and then you are going to appreciate what it is so this is all i have for you for the whatsapp boot message i believe that everything that we have done in this two video is going to help you to actually set up your own whatsapp boot so click the subscribe button click the like and share and then don't forget to turn on the bell icon so that anytime i drop a new video you'll be the first to know good day once again and god bless you